This is a beautiful drone shot that I didn't take. This guy took it. This is Eric Phillips. He's an actual, real, professional landscape photographer. Aren't you, Eric? A while back, I left for a camping trip to one of my favorite towns in the entire world, Crested Butte. I only meant to be gone for four days, but I've been here for four weeks. I came out here to seek inspiration, and since Eric is currently living everyone's dream of being a landscape photographer, I figured he'd be a good guy to spend some time around. He had mentioned a sort of legendary hidden spot he'd been meaning to find, and I was all in. So I made sure to come completely prepared. You need you to just be one way. Yes, 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 yes. We've been told that there's some a mine shaft up here with a waterfall over it. So we're gonna try and find it. So we began hiking up river and ran into a pretty cool spot that we thought might possibly be it. So I think that that is a mine shaft. That's pretty rad. You know, waterfall. <laughs> but just to be sure we didn't miss anything, we kept hiking up a little ways further and stumbled across one of the coolest places I've ever been. <laughs> so I know you're thinking, wow, wanderlust, adventure, exploration. And yeah, I guess a lot of what we did that day consisted of those things, but this lifestyle wasn't just given to Eric. It was a journey. A journey that surprisingly had very little to do with photography in the first place. I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, and when me and my sister graduated high school, we moved up to just over the border in Wisconsin. And we were right next to our local ski hill. So I started working as a snowboard instructor and going to community college part-time. And I did that for a year before I transferred to the University of Wisconsin in Green Bay. And I still wanted to work as a snowboard instructor. So I was driving 90 miles one way every weekend to go teach snowboarding at the closest ski hill. Halfway through that winter, I realized that I cared more about progressing my education as a snowboard instructor than I did about any of my classes in Wisconsin. And I knew I needed to make a change in my life path. I ended up coming out to Gunnison, Colorado, sight unseen. I remember I looked up a picture of the local ski hill. I was like, I wonder if they've got a cool ski hill nearby. Maybe I could be a snowboard instructor there. And it was Crested Butte. And I looked at the, the ski map and it's like, I think it's good. I don't really know. Uh, I think it's a cool hill. Uh, and then got here and like, realized that this is, this is the place that I needed to be and everything has just kind of worked out perfectly. It was here that Eric fell in love with photography, the town, the incredible skiing, and Morgan, an outdoor industry and adventure travel industry journalist. I had just gotten a snowmobile and it was a really not good quality snowmobile. And I went to go pick her up. We were going to go snowmobile to go splitboarding. And I left Gunnison and I had a seat on my snowmobile. Um, and I showed up at her house to go pick her up and there was no seat. <laughs> it was <laughs> lost on the way. I kind of came out and met him and I was like, uh, do you need that seat? Like, should we go back and get it? Or are we still going <laughs> splitboarding? I was kind of nervous and we ended up making the best of it and I was kind of terrified but we made it work. There are plenty of lessons I've been learning from Eric lately but one of the biggest ones is motivational and uplifting but it's equally heavy and terrifying. If you decide to settle and not follow your passions and where you know you're supposed to be there's a chance that you'll look back and never know what you missed out on.